I'm joined with Maddie Heritzik from the Bree Sports, and she recently had an article come out in this week's paper about JMU baseball. So first, can you explain how the end of last season kind of impacted the team that's coming back this year? Yeah, so to start off, the team was actually on their way back to Harrisonburg after beating Maryland 4-1 to when the NCAA announced the cancellation. And unfortunately, a lot of players were heartbroken, just like any other sport across the country. But this year, they've kind of taken that frustration and that um, depression from last year's cancellation and kind of turned it into motivation and, ready to, um, and preparation to get ready to play for this season. Who are some standout players that could really make a difference this season? Well, because of the NCAA's extra eligibility rule, we get to see the return of two players, uh, uh, third baseman Fox Simones and first baseman Brady Horyu. They're both going to be returning as a redshirt senior for their fifth and final year, um, along with, the, um, with almost the entire starting lineup from last year. So that's going to be really, really um, critical for this team. Uh, other p standout players will be freshman standout from last year, Chase DeLauder, who was pitcher and also um, outfielder. He's going to be critical. He had a standout season. Um, others are going to be pitcher Justin Showalter and Nick Stewart. Both were in the starting rotation last, semester, um, last year and really brought out a lot of competition within the team. Um, other players could be shortstop Nick Zona, who um, also was really critical in the batting lineup last year, went right after Chase, De um, right after Chase DeLauder. So he's going to be really critical. That, that chemistry that the two have will be really important this season. And can you talk a little bit more about the depth of roster that they have this year? Yeah, so this year they have like more than one starting lineup on their, um, on their roster this year. They're going to have all of their starting lineup from last year. And then they'll have basically maybe even two or three additional starting lineups on the bench ready to go at any point in time along with two or three different starting rota um, rotational pitchers. Um, the way that the weekend series is works is there'll be a new pitcher to start every game, but because of COVID protocols, the coaches are preparing to have an additional rotation of starting pitchers before we even get to your bullpen. So that'll be really big and helpful for the team this year. And having almost every player from last year redshirt with that extra eligibility rule will also be a big, big factor. And so the Dukes are prepared to play in actually two weeks from now, but this week it was announced that they're playing UNC in North Carolina this weekend, and their first game is actually today at 3 o'clock. So can you explain how that preparation has changed now that they're playing this weekend? Yeah, so the motivation was there from the get-go. Once the season was announced, the team was pumped and ready to go. Uh, but now that they have a start date that was two weeks sooner, that motivation exponentially increased, and they're ready to go, and they're excited. Um, it'll be an early test to see how they match up against UNC. They haven't seen each other in almost a decade, so that'll be a really important matchup. And it'll also give us an insight as to what the coaches are thinking for their lineups, their relief pitchers, their bullpen, and everything in between. Well, thanks for speaking with me today. And if you want to check out the rest of Maddie's story, you can get a copy of The Breeze or go to breezejmu.org. Back to you, Jordan.